for our animal drawing, we're going to be using the grid method to make sure that everything we're doing is um, is accurate uh, or as accurate as possible. So what we're going to be doing that is we're going to be using our inch ruler here, and we're going to be measuring uh, every two inches to make a two inch grid on our piece of paper. The animal picture that we're working from is. The animal picture we're working from is a 4 by 6 picture, and then our drawing paper is 8 by 12. So that means this paper and this paper are um, two times different. So this is two times bigger than this. So we're going to make a grid on here, and we're going to try to make a 4 by 6 grid. The way we're going to do that is by making a grid that's every 2 inches. So I'm going to mark, laying my ruler down, making sure that my ruler is lined up with the 0. So the 0 of your ruler should be right here. Okay, it's not the edge, there's a line right there. So I'm going to line it up. Okay, I'm going to go every two inches. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, and now to make a straight line, I want to use my ruler, but if I put it just on this mark here, there's no way for me to really tell that this is straight. Want to close the door for me, Mason, then? No. Close the door. Thank you, sir. Have a good weekend. Okay. To make sure that this is straight, um, you need to have a second set of markings. So the best way to do that is I'm going to have my ruler, I measured down here, I'm going to slide the ruler up the paper, and I'm going to do the same markings on the other side of the paper. So if you have this visually cut in half, you want one on one side and one on the other to really make sure that you're going to have a straight line. So I'm going to go every two. Four, six, eight, ten. Okay. In addition, when you're making your markings for your ruler to measure, you want to be measuring from the side where the numbers and the lines are. You don't want to be measuring from the behind here. You wouldn't want to like put your marks on under the ruler because you're not going to make them um, accurate. Also, when you're making your marks, you want to extend the line from the ruler up. That's how you know you're going to have the right, correct marking. Okay. So once I have a mark on the top and the bottom, I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to line it up on those two marks, make sure they're both touching. And for our piece of paper, this is our drawing that we're going to, our animal is going to be shaded on here. So we want this grid to be nice and light so we can get rid of it later. So when I'm drawing my lines, I want my grid to be nice and light. Okay, I'm not going to dig my pencil into the paper. I'm almost just slightly dragging my pencil across just to give myself the idea of that grid. Okay, and again, I'm using my regular number two pencil. Okay, Sometimes a mechanical pencil is better for this job because I feel like those draw a little bit lighter. Okay, so Now I should have my paper broken down into six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm going to turn my paper. And I'm going to do the same thing the other way. So I'm going to put my line, my paper, my ruler down at the bottom. Okay, And I'm going to go every two inches. Two, four, six, and eight is at the end of the paper. I'm going to go up to the top and go every two, four, six, and eight. I'm going to line up my lines, my marks, and then draw a nice light line going all the way down my paper. Nice light line going all the way down my paper. Okay, perfect. So now I have my grid. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's on my drawing paper. Now I'm going to do the same grid on here. I want the same number of boxes. So, like I said, this paper is this animal image is four by six. So, to get four by six squares, I'm not going to go two inches, I'm going to go every one inch. So, same as I did on my paper, I'm going to go every one inch now. One, and this grid can be dark because we want to be able to see those boxes on our pictures. Go down. So I'm lining these up just like I did before, lining it up. And it doesn't matter if these are super dark because you have that other reference photo you should have two photos to be looking at. I printed out two photos for you, for your animal. So one you're going to have the grid on, and then the other one you're going to be able to use when you start shading. OK, 
Okay, it's a little hard to see some of my lines, but I think I got it. Okay, now I'm going to go the opposite direction. Okay, again, every one inch. Three, go to the top. One, let me go all the way over here. One, two, three. And then you're just going to line up your lines and make your grid. It's really important that your grid is accurate. You want your lines to be straight. You want your line boxes to be boxes on both your animal drawing, your animal paper, this picture, and your other your drawing paper. Okay. Okay. So if I'm looking at my paper here with using the grid method, whatever I see in one box is what I'm going to see in this box. So if I'm looking here, the edge of my owl is in this box here. So I could further divide this box if I want so that I see that this piece of my bird is in the bottom right quadrant of that square. So I'm going to go right here and it's going to be like right like that. Oh, too far. I'm going to have them go right here. Okay, and then I'm going to follow that line into the next box. So over here, and it goes down to about half. And now I'm going to go up. I mean, I'm going to go down a little bit. And I'm going to go, I'm in this box here. It kind of goes straight down. Okay, and then it goes straight down to the edge of my paper. Okay, so. I'm just going box at a time. And what I can do here is now I can di differentiate where I see different shades or values. So I see that there's this like white kind of area on the edge of his body that comes kind of all the way down here. Okay. There's this like shadow, this bright here that comes like around his head is where his eyes are. So it looks like it comes kind of right in this corner and it kind of goes down and it comes around into this box here. Okay, and it kind of comes down into this box. I'm over here in this box, and it goes up. And it kind of comes here, and then we're going to go down into where his beak is. These feathers are kind of right here. So you're really just following along with each box. Okay, you can see where his eye is. So I'm looking here at the second one, two box. So I'm two up and over. So his eye is kind of in this box here. It's here, and it comes out. And then he's got this scowly kind of look to him that comes down. So these, this eye kind of comes up and this comes over. Okay, these feathers come across. Okay, this part comes up here. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to smooth this out a little bit. His circle, his pupil comes down over here. So I want to just kind of lay stuff in. I can always perfect it in a little while, but you want to lay out each box as you can. Okay, the big shapes. Then what we'll do is we'll erase our grid and then that's where we're going to start to shade. So that's how we're going to start our animal picture.